Hello everyone and welcome back to Neptune's Child Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my second tarot channel here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support. If you're new, welcome. You may also want to check out my main tarot channel, Moon Moth Goddess, where I do have a bunch of other uh, pick a card readings posted for you guys into playlists. For those of you that would like to book a private reading, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services with me. So today's pick a card reading, we are doing what is the next step on your uh, career path, okay? Um, as I've set out these stones, I already, I think I forgot the name of that one already. <laughs> I can't remember, but pile one, this is going to be yours here. It's kind of like a combination of yellow and red. Um, pile two is going to be this uh, little painted rock here in the center. It is a Nazca, I think a Nazca lines spider. Um, and then for pile number three, we have this little yellow, I think it's a yellow jasper. Um, or a Mukai Jasper heart. Okay. So what is the next step on your career path? Um, what else did I want to say? <laughs> if you already feel drawn to, I'm already like spacing it. I've been doing private reading since early this morning. Um, if you already feel drawn to a specific crystal, you can go ahead and jump down to the timestamps uh, below. If you want and need a little bit of extra help, I am going to be adding in one of these cards to help you uh, with choosing your pile today. Okay. So let's see. What is the next step on your career path? Let's pull something for pile number one. What is the next step on pile one's career path? Okay. We'll look at them in just a second. Pile number two. What is the next step on your career path? And then pile number three. What is the next step on pile three's career path? Mm. Okay. So let's take a look at what we got. Pile one. We have caching. Okay. That is going to be for pile one. Number seven, caching with this crystal here and I don't know I can't remember if this is like it's probably some type of Jasper that is for pile one pile two we have direction here and that is with this little Nazca spider number 12 And then pile number three, we have preparation. Okay. And that is with this little heart here. Number 37, preparation. Okay, so if you do feel drawn to more than one pile for this reading, that is perfectly okay. Pile one with caching and this little crystal here. Pile two with direction. That one there in the center. And then pile number three with preparation and this little heart here. Timestamps will be down below. Pause the video if you need more time and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, Pal One. So those of you that resonate with this card here, caching, this is going to be your reading today. So this is actually the second time I'm trying to record your reading, Pal One. <laughs> the first time, um, I don't know, something was going on with the electricity here and the power kept going out and it kept making the room completely black. Um, and so it happened like four times. So I had to just make sure that it wasn't going to continue to happen. Um, so I just decided to just delete it and start over again. Um, so that would be way too much editing for me to try to fix it. So your card here is caching and it does look like this little bird is, um, 
putting these little things, they look like little pebbles or something like that. Like it's putting these little things into the ground, almost like saving something or planting seeds um, for something. So we're asking today, what is the next step on your career path? And I'm kind of bummed out because there was some good messages that were coming through. So we'll see what, what comes out. What is the next step on your career path? Pile one. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so we've got some similar energy here. That's good. We've got the Five of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Chariot. Okay, what is the next step on your career path? Three of Cups. Okay, so what I'm kind of getting here is that mm, I'm seeing we have the five of pentacles energy here, but the ace of pentacles is right next to that. So <clears throat> this looks like a little bit of a period of, mm, for some of you, this could be that there has been some type of financial loss and that could be that you've lost a job for some of you or the finances could be a little bit tight. However, the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity for a new beginning. So this might mean for many of you that you're that you're moving out of a place of stagnancy, which was the message that was coming through the first time. You're moving out of a place of stagnancy and things are kind of picking up again. OK, Um so to me, this is like the Six of Pentacles energy, which is restoring harmony within your finances. So those of you that have been feeling like finances have been a little bit tight, a little bit of a challenge here. Um, I'm seeing the Three of Cups energy here, which is a celebration. So those of you that have been trying to look for a job or have been wanting to get a raise or, you know, more money, it's happening for you. Okay. There's something to celebrate here. Um, there's movement with the chariot energy. So this could either be that you are getting a raise. Um, there's an opportunity for another stream of income that you could be creating, especially for those of you that are, um, uh, self-employed. Okay. Those of you that are working for someone else, um, it could be that you are moving into, you're being offered a higher position. I'm seeing that we do have two Kings here. So, Kings are mastery of energy. So many of you, you could be receiving some type of good message or good news surrounding leveling up in terms of management or executive level even for some of you. And for those of you that have been, let's just say, looking for a job, you're going to receive good news surrounding that. There's something to be happy for, celebrate here. Uh, the chariot is about moving ourselves towards victory, success. Um, so <clears throat> let's just say some of you have been planting seeds for something new. You've got that coming through here, that it's going to create harmony here. Um, let's see what else. What is the next step on your career path? We have the devil in reverse. Okay, so the devil in reverse is about freedom. Um, there may have been some energy that was kind of creating a blockage here, but this is something, it, it's almost like blocks are being removed here. Okay. Look what looks like what that's what's happening. And this might even have to do with your own beliefs here as well. Okay. Because the five of pentacles is a card of insecurity, um, uh, loss, despair, um, you know, needs not being met which can also be when finances are tight and you feel like, oh my goodness, like how am I going to make it, you know? And we can start to get into that mindset and thinking like worst case scenario, like I'm going to be poor. I'm not going to have money to pay my bills and stuff like that. But the devil in reverse could be that you are working towards releasing that way of thinking. And the release of that energy is helping you to shift into 
kind of like a different timeline, one that is more in alignment with this King of Pentacles, which is about wealth. Because with the King of Pentacles energy, there are risks that we need to take with our career in order for us to advance and move ahead. And sometimes that might mean changing jobs, changing, you know, moving even with the chariot energy here. So some of you might even be leaving a job that is um, not paying you enough, you know, not val not valuing you, not, not really paying you what your worth is. And there's a new opportunity that comes in for you to make change and you're growing out of a situation that had been kept you limited, okay? That devil, like I said, is freedom. It's us being, it's like those blocks being removed of an energy that was keeping us stuck or oppressed, you know? So let's see what else. What is the next step on your career path? Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Because the Queen of Pentacles came out the first time. Um, yeah, came out the first time here. So I am seeing the Eight of Swords at the bottom. Okay, with the Page of Wands and also the Three of Wands energy here. So, like I said, some of you could be actually moving to a new place, taking a new job, um, accepting a new position. This Three of Wands energy here is about thinking and planning. Some of you may have already taken that first step towards some type of new beginning, either creating another stream of income, changing jobs, um, applying for a new job and hearing messages. But if you look at this Three of Wands card, this little lady here has all of her bags packed and she's flagging down with her handkerchief. She's flagging down the chariot that's coming down the hill, right? And you have the chariot here. Like the chariot is coming to pick you up, <laughs> to pick you up, to take you to your next destination or wherever this next level is for you. The Page of Wands is about feeling of excitement, of an adventure, of something new. So some of you could be pursuing a new passion that you have. Um, I'm feeling because we have the Eight of Swords energy here. This is the energy that you're releasing yourself from. The Eight of Swords is a lot of negative thinking, a lot of stressing and worrying and overthinking things. And, you know, we create blockages ourselves. We block ourselves. Um, especially if you're someone who is stuck kind of like in a scarcity mindset, but I'm feeling this shift of energy here and you being able, because the chariot is also about freedom. Okay. So there's, there's a powerful shift of energy that's happening for you here. And I feel like it's helping to shift you into that energy of the King of Pentacles, which the King of Pentacles is about long-term, uh, security, stability. Um, and like I said, sometimes there are risks that are involved for us to make certain changes in order to evolve, in order to grow. Okay. The King of Pentacles doesn't become the King of Pentacles staying in the same place forever. You know, we have to take risks in life with our career, with our finances and things like that so that we can make changes and move ahead, right? M applying for that other job or making a big career change here or, you know, whatever it is that you're doing here. But, and some of you, it might mean that you're pursuing, you're finally going to pursue a, a goal that you have, a dream, a desire that you have. And yeah, I like this. The chariot is coming to pick her up. She's got all her bags packed and she's feeling excited. Some of you might be feeling a little bit nervous, feeling, you know, especially if you're going through a transition and a change, you might be feeling a little bit worried, like, oh my goodness, this is, you know, what's going to happen? How is this going to turn out? But I feel like as long as you are following your heart here mm, with the King of Cups, uh, this is going to lead you to a place of feeling more mm, emotionally uh, balanced, stable. You're going to feel more secure. Like I said, some of you could be moving into higher level positions that are opportunities that are available. Um, and others of you, it could be uh, you're just moving out of a like a little bit of a challenging time you may have had where finances could have been a little bit tight, you know, 
or even a mentality, a mindset that you're moving away from and into more balanced energy because you do have both the king and the queen of pentacles here, uh, which is beautiful. So let's see. And some of you, what was coming through earlier too was the two of swords. And the two of swords is about uh, making a decision. So some of you might have an opportunity, like let's just say you're looking around where you live and there's no real jobs that you like that are available, but then there's this other job that's in another city. And you're just like, oh my goodness, like what if I do that? What if I take that? What is that going to mean? Yes, finances could be a little bit tight as you make that transition, but I feel like ultimately it's going to change the outcome, you know, because for some of you with this, with this cashing card here, <clears throat> I'm seeing that there's grass that's growing and it already has roots, you know, but this bird looks like it's putting new things into the ground that haven't rooted yet. And that would be something that the King of Pentacles would do is taking those risks, you know, that even though you might be in something that's already established, some of you might be making some type of transition here and there could be a little bit of an adjustment period um, for some of you that is here. But I feel like it's 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 keeping the mindset of the King of Pentacles is going to help you to guide you through this transition, this process, because this keeps us stuck. This Eight of Swords, the negative thinking, worst case scenario, you know. I'm not going to be able to make it through this and stuff like that. And instead of thinking in the money mindset, like the King of Pentacles does, he knows that there's risks involved with making change or leveling up, bossing up um, in terms of, you know, where you're at in your career field. And it's worth it. You know, it's kind of what I'm seeing here. So it's, it's kind of leading you towards a successful outcome. The ch uh, chariot is about victory. It's about success, winning, you know, like I said, the three of cups is a reason to celebrate. So some of you might be receiving a promotion, you know, um, that's good news. So let's see what else. Okay. What is the next step on pile number one's career path? Content, content. Feeling content. And I like that because we have the King of Cups here. And the King of Cups has achieved emotional maturity. This is a stable, balanced energy. So it's like even with this here, whatever this is happening for you here, take it how it resonates. Whether it's a promotion or you're pursuing a dream that you've always had or you're getting, uh, you're opening your own business whatever leveling up means for you, you've got a new beginning here, the opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles, another stream of income, a raise, uh, a new job. It's going to be something that makes you happy, okay, with content here. Let's see, what is the next step on your career path? Challenges, okay, we see that with that Five of Pentacles energy, and we have gratitude too. So... And I'm also seeing fear at the bottom. And those I feel like are more or less, that might be your challenge here, is, is the fear. Um, but I want to look at this a little bit more. What is the challenge here that pile number one might go through? The sun. Why was that a challenge? This kind of makes me feel, because... Mm, what do I want to say with this? Okay. The sun is about happiness, abundance. This almost makes me feel like there's a blessing coming in for you. But you know sometimes how the universe tests us and it can get super annoying sometimes because it's like, why... Right before something beautiful and amazing happens... There is always something <laughs> that happens. So, and that's kind of what I'm seeing with this Five of Pentacles energy. There's a little bit of a challenge here that you could be going through, whether that is, like I said, a tight financial situation that you could be going through. I mean, you could be spending a lot of money, 
you know, maybe for those of you that are also moving and like during that process of moving, it's like, oh my goodness, you have to pay for this. You have to pay for that. You have to pay for this. And it's like worried about that change there. So yeah, this kind of makes me feel like the challenge here maybe is staying positive. Okay. That could be one thing, staying positive through this, because for some of you, it's like this opportunity is coming in that's going to lead you towards success, a successful outcome. But there is a little bit of challenge of trying to stay positive and trying to stay in that king of, of, of pentacles mindset through you leveling up, you know. And that is where normally what I notice even from my own life too is right before the blessing comes in, in comes a little bit of that challenge that we have to overcome for that right there, the sun. So let's see, why is the challenge here? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, so to me, it's, it's like keeping up that energy, that momentum. Uh, we've got judgment here too. Eight of Pentacles, which is your work at the bottom. Nine of Pentacles. Ten, look at this. Ten of Pentacles. The star. And Page of Swords is right underneath that too. So eight, nine, ten of Pentacles. The star. It's like, kind of like I said, it's like you're you're on this path with elevating yourself financially. You're leading yourself towards this Ten of Pentacles, which is generational wealth financial independence because of everything that you've already done you're continuing to work at it you know it's like you've built something you've established it and okay now what else is next how else can I create more for some of you it's another stream of income opening your own business coming up with a side hustle uh applying for a higher position applying for a, a, a position that pays more, moving to a new city, a new country, a new town, and taking that job, okay, that's going to pay more money. So even though there's difficult lessons that might be here through this transition, you're following what your heart is telling you to do, and it's leading you towards your destiny, the star. Because I feel for many of you that chose this pile, the Ten of Pentacles and the star, this is your birthright. This is your destiny is to create generational wealth. So spirit is trying to keep you in alignment and in that mindset of the king of pentacles with understanding that there are certain risks that are involved. And yes, they can sometimes get a little scary as you make those changes, but it's important for you. The challenge is for you to keep the positive mindset about it. The, the, the uh, Knight of Wands energy, which is passion. It's about drive. It's about fire that even though there could be challenges that are there, you're going to push right on through them. And that's what the King of Pentacles does. He knows the value of commitment and hard work and effort and dedication to what his goal is, which is that Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So some of you might have a big decision to make here with judgment, you know, and that could include making some changes to your job or what you're doing or your career path or whatever this is that you decide. But ultimately what's happening here is the universe is guiding you towards your destiny, which is this Ten of Pentacles. That is generational wealth. Okay. So the Page of Swords energy here could be that you're going to, you're, you could receive some message or news. Some of you might even be receiving an inheritance. Okay. But that won't, of course, that won't be for all of you. Some of you might be receiving news, though, about an inheritance um, or a good amount of money that's coming in <laughs> for you. Um, the other thing with the Page of Swords could also be receiving good news, you know, especially if you've been applying for a job, trying to look for a job. Um, the Page of Swords is also about researching things, looking up information. So some of you might even be exploring your horizons a little bit and, you know, traveling because the Knight of Wands is also travel. But I feel like with judgment here, this is like a big decision. Some of you might be feeling a call, a, a soul's calling that you will be uh, pursuing here. And it is something that is in alignment with your destiny. Okay. So some of you might even have like a, like, especially if you work for someone else, you work for a company, you could have your established career there and then kind of branch out and do your own thing and start working on that. 
you know, that's going to be something that helps you to create generational wealth and also stability within a family. If you're, you know, if you, if you're married, if you've got children, you've got loved ones you're taking care of. I know some of you, you know, take care of your parents and, you know, children and family members and help out and stuff like that. But this to me is, is your hard work is paying off here, you know? So, you know, spirit, I feel like with gratitude here, like I said, the universe will test us. So if we're going to have that 10 of pentacles within our lifetime, we're going to have to work for it. <laughs> you know, sometimes we have to work for it and spirit will kind of throw in these challenges that are here, but it's us holding that positivity and optimism and gratitude, right? Because these little challenges here are teaching us at the level that we're at with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, we've got to have a good, strong head on our shoulders so that even when we do achieve this level of abundance, we know what it's, ta what it's taken to get here, right? We're not just going to spend all of it and just throw it away. We're going to hold gratitude for it because the universe has given us these opportunities for us to build ourselves up to this place and not just achieve this level of abundance, maintain it. That's the important part, right? Because very easily you can go out and buy like this and that and this and that. And if we don't learn these lessons of how to respect money and you know, the, the mindset that we have surrounding money and all we do is just kind of throw it away and buy all kinds of things that we don't need. Are we really, how much do we really value, you know, the money that we have? You know, of course, splurging a little bit, you know, buying things that you desire, but also being mindful of how we're investing or, you know, things of that nature. So yeah, this gratitude, energy of gratitude is definitely something that spirit might be wanting you to learn too. you know, is to be grat grateful for what you have, you know, that may be also another thing here too, is why you could potentially for some of you be experiencing this five of pentacles energy, spirit could be reminding you, you know, where you came from, did you come from a place of poverty, and then you're gonna your destiny is your birthright is to have this 10 of pentacles, do you even know how to handle this level of abundance, you're going to have to go through some challenges on the way to getting there so that you know how hard you worked to get that so that when you do get to that place, you hold a lot of gratitude in your heart and in your soul for the universe blessing you with this abundance, right? If you've all you've ever known is poverty or lack or scarcity, and then when you have money, you're just like, woo, I'm going to spend it all at this place, that place, and just kind of throw it away, right? Sometimes there are certain lessons that we have to learn here, especially with judgment being here. This is karma, karmic lessons, you know, um, that you might have to learn. Lessons and gratitude. So we can be grateful for when we do get to this place, we can enjoy it. We can feel secure. We can feel stable. We can make good choices, good investments. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing here for you. Okay, so that is all that I have for you, pile number one. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonated with this uh, direction card and this spider Nazca line stone, this is going to be your reading. So we're finding out today what is the next step on your career path. Um, this kind of looks like there's some energy being highlighted surrounding maybe what your path is, the direction that you're headed. Maybe something is being illuminated for you as far as what your next step is. Maybe you're going to feel kind of intuitively drawn to a specific path or direction. So we'll see what is coming through for you, pal, two. What is the next step on pile number two's career path? The Six of Cups. The Five of Cups. What is going on? What is the next step on your career path? Three of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. The King of Swords.
Three of Wands. This makes me feel like you guys are waiting for something, anticipating something, because the Five of Cups is a feeling of loss, grief. Um, the Hangman is also about um, something kind of being stuck in limbo here. The strength card. The three of wands is waiting. We're waiting, anticipating something here. I don't know, those of you that chose this pile, if you've lost your job um, or if you're not happy at your job. Hmm. Because the Six of Cups energy is about receiving some type of gift here. Receiving, it could be receiving a gift. Um, this can also be when we're reminiscing about something, reminiscing about the past. I don't know if some of you guys have made, like, have already made some type of a job change. And hmm, maybe you're not happy with the change. You could be regretting a decision that you've made. But this kind of makes me feel like there's a little bit of some stress here with the Ten of Swords. And she looks like she's got all her bags packed and she's waiting. This little chariot. The chariot is about movement, progress. So <clears throat> this makes me feel like something's improving here for you. Something is improving. Maybe if you're not feeling completely happy or content right now, you're feeling a little sad or discouraged or hopeless. There's the shift of energy that's happening for you here. There could be clarity surrounding decision, maybe the direction that you're going. I feel like with the strength card being here too, this requires a lot of your personal strength, confidence, power. These th this three of pentacles here, this guy looks like he's working on something here, planning. The Three of Pentacles is also about collaboration here, collaborating with others. So I don't know, maybe some of you might even own your own business. The Three of Pentacles can be a card of entrepreneurship. You know, um, if you are new entrepreneurs or you're working on a business, maybe if there's been a little bit of stagnancy here, I almost feel like there's going to be some type of breakthrough for you where there's a change or a shift of perspective, your focus, your planning, where you could have been feeling a little bit discouraged, worrying, stressing mentally. This is the courage to keep going or even to focus on a clear direction here. Maybe some of you literally could be moving someplace with the three of wands. Hmm. The Three of Pentacles is also about laying the groundwork for a solid foundation. So some of you could still be feeling not quite stable just yet. And really still trying to work on that, you know. I am seeing the Knight of Cups as the bottom. We've got Judgment, the Four of Pentacles, and the Death card. Yeah, it looks like there's been some type of change here. Or you will be making some type of change. Um, some of you might be worried about financial stability here because the four of pentacles can sometimes be when we're staying in the comfort zone, you know, like if you're at a job that's not paying you enough and you get worried about bills and thinking, oh my goodness, like, I don't want to stay like this forever. Like, what can I do to change my financial situation? Some of you might have to make some type of decision here about changing and letting go of that comfort zone and opening yourself up to something new and having the courage to say, okay, you know what? I've been at this place long enough. I'm not happy. It's not paying me enough. This is barely enough to make ends meet here. You know, especially for those of you with the Six of Cups can also talk about children. You know, like if you have children, um, fur babies, I don't know, um, that you're taking care of, um, your family, you could be missing family here. 
you know, maybe for some of you, you live or you, you, your job is away from family. You could be thinking about home or moving or something like that. Um, I think I want to clarify this direction here. But the Knight of Cups is about new opportunities or opening ourselves up to other opportunities. And death also looks like he's sitting down. He looks bored. So I don't know. Maybe some of you are feeling bored or like what you're doing right now. And they're like, there's something needs to change. Direction here. What is the direction here? Spirit, what is the direction? Wheel of Fortune. Well, the Wheel of Fortune does bring in positive change. Positive change. Things are moving. Why is direction here? This makes me feel <clears throat> if some of you have been feeling a little bit discouraged with work. You know, not making enough, feeling bored even. Look at death just sitting there. <laughs> um, you know. Yeah, the seven of pentacles is about evaluating and reassessing something that we've already in been investing our time and energy into. This makes me feel like you guys want change. Maybe you just don't know what direction you're going. And there could be a decision, like I said, for you to leave something behind. But this requires, I feel like Spirit's saying here, your inner strength, your power, your confidence. And to be clear, the King of Swords is about creating, you know, having a vision and making, taking decisive action. What is this Wheel of Fortune here? I'm sorry, the Direction card here. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Let's do the Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Cups in Reverse. The Hermit. Yeah. I'm feeling for some of you, this is like... Six of Pentacles is at the bottom with the Page of Wands. Look at how the Page of Wands looks like it's fishing for something else. The Page of Wands is about starting down a new path. And I feel like for many of you, you're shifting onto a path to receive more so the hermit energy could be that you were doing some deep reflection here about what direction you are going and if that direction which i'm kind of feeling you're a little bit discouraged here so this looks like you will be making a decision here to move on to potentially another job or another career path that is going to give you more of what you need the six of pentacles is about reciprocity so a lot of this comes down to you not only receiving what you need, but moving towards a career path or a new direction where even if you work for another company, that company pays you what your worth is, you know, because some of you might be feeling like, okay, I've invested my time, my energy, you know, people are not paying attention to me. My boss doesn't recognize me. I'm not being appreciated here and this is making you feel frustrated because some of you might feel like you're not getting ahead. Maybe even at a current position that you're at, like you're just, it's not, maybe there's, I don't know. This makes me feel like not getting a promotion, not being seen. So it's like, okay, enough is enough. I need to make a change here. I'm not going to sit around and let myself stay like this. I know that I have to make a change. So to me, it's kind of like following your heart, your emotions, and going with the flow of this change where you are going to start looking for something else. I'm feeling for some of you different, potentially different direction here. Like I said, she looks like she's ready to go. Okay. All of her bags are packed. She's waiting for that chariot to come and get her to bring her to her next destination. So this looks like movement change uh, for some of you, moving away from a place that could potentially be limiting you, holding you back from really thriving here and moving into a position or a job or career that offers more money. 
okay, is, is what I'm seeing here. So the Wheel of Fortune <clears throat> in this case is, is, is happening in your favor because you've got the three and four of pentacles here, you know, moving into the six of pentacles, which is more harmony, more balance with your finances, feeling more secure, you know? So yeah, if those of you that have been feeling a little bit stuck or, you know, insecure, feeling like finances have been tight, I feel for some of you, you could be, you know, applying for another position. Some of you might be receiving a raise or even just changing altogether, you know, seeing what else is out there. This, Like I said, this fish is fishing. So some of you might have been wait, waiting, you know. This just kind of makes me feel like <clears throat> for some of you, the job that you're at just makes you feel dead inside. Like literally, <laughs> it's not making, it's like it's something you're not passionate about, you know. And the judgment card is about answering the call of our soul. Our soul's calling. So some of you might even be doing something like that, you know, opening your own business for some of you. Okay. So let's see what else. Pile number two. What is the next step on your career path? Awareness. Awareness. Creativity. Strength. Yeah. This makes me feel like you're, 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 I'm seeing dreams at the bottom with intuition. This makes me feel like you're being more aware of your surroundings, of what you're doing for work, about how you're being paid. Um, maybe you might even be recognizing how something is holding you back, whether that's yourself or even where you work. You know, maybe if you feel like you're being shut out, you're not being included, or you feel like you're not being heard, you're not being seen, your boss isn't paying attention to you. You know, um, I'm seeing decision at the bottom here too. A decision. Okay. And also comparison. This just makes me feel maybe some of you are feeling like maybe you're in a very competitive place. Let's see what this resistance is. Why is resistance here? The three of wands. Is it just waiting for something to change? Instead of you taking that first step. Maybe for some of you the resistance is you're waiting for something to come to you. Instead of you making the change. You know? What is the resistance here? The lovers. This is you resisting following what your heart is telling you. Because it's like you can see it, right, on the horizon. The lovers is about the ch a choice of the heart, following your heart. So maybe for some of you, your heart is calling you into a certain place. The seven, What is that? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is having many different options, ideas, but feeling sometimes overwhelmed, confused. What direction do I choose? Which path do I choose? This is Spirit saying, follow your heart follow your intuition you're having an awareness that you have all of this talent and all of this skill find the inner strength within inside of yourself and the confidence within yourself you know many of you are discovering you have these creative abilities and creative talents and skills to be able to be very successful you know and maybe with the compassion here this is something that, like, if you've gone through something in your past or, you know, you have self-worth issues or lack of confidence in yourself, low self-esteem, you know, spirit is asking you to be compassionate towards yourself, you know, understanding maybe why, you know, you don't feel good about yourself and really working on nurturing yourself so that you feel strong and powerful and believe in yourself. Um, okay. I'm also seeing the chariot at the bottom. The chariot is about, look at that ace of pentacles. That is your new beginning there. So yes, this looks like some type of change to me for you, uh, pile two. 
And it is going to require your inner strength, your power to actually not just wait for change to happen, but you actually take that first step. And for some of you that might be making a choice here, a decision to leave something behind, to move on from something, to go and pursue something new and creating the resistance by not following your heart, not making a decision and just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting instead of you becoming the change that you wish to see within your career. Okay. Because with the chariot, this is about us having the willpower, the determination, the focus towards that new beginning there to pursue a new opportunity, right? Especially if we're feeling like, okay, I'm not getting anywhere at this job, you know, or this business, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's stagnant. This could be you doing something new, sh creating a shift of energy here. Okay. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number two. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with this card here, number 37, preparation. Um, let's get into your reading. We're finding out today what is the next step on your career path. So let's see, pile three. What is the next step? On your career path. What is the next step on pile number three's career path? Seven of Swords. Okay. Well, that makes sense because you have preparation here. The Seven of Swords, I feel like in this case, is talking about getting your thoughts organized, getting it together because... The seven of swords can be when we have scattered thinking. Um, we can have like, say, like many different ideas and we're trying to sort through them and trying to get organized within our mind so that we're able to create a plan. Okay, so you do have preparation here. This is maybe getting your thoughts in order or maybe like, you know, what your plan is. Hmm. Okay. What is the next step? The Five of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. And the Strength card. This almost makes me feel like you're getting yourself in order too. Because the Wheel of Fortune is talking about the cycles of life. And we have the Five of Cups energy here. So some of you could be going through Something in your personal life, you know, something in your personal life that may have happened to you that you may have gone through recently or something that's coming up for you right now. And that could be something that's kind of throwing you off a little bit. Okay, which is kind of what I'm getting. So this to me looks honestly like you're getting yourself in order so that you could focus again. So that you can prepare for something. Because this, all, yeah, this kind of looks like you're going through a little bit of difficulty here. Could be something that's making you upset, sad. Something you're dealing with. This is some pretty heavy finance, or not financial, <laughs> pretty heavy, um, well, maybe it's due to your finances. Pretty heavy emotions. You know, depression. Um, feeling grief. Like if you've gone through something in your personal life that you're trying to, you know, like you're trying to get yourself in order is what this looks like. Because you also have strength here too. And strength is about inner strength, inner power, being able to pull it together, you know, and, and be more balanced. So this is about controlling our feelings, our emotions, our, you know, and if you're feeling like this, of course, you're going to be feeling like your mind is all over the place. Because the Wheel of Fortune is also about cycles, ups and downs, you know. So, yeah, this honestly feels like you're getting yourself together. Your heart, your mind. Okay. Maybe some of you are going through some pretty big 
um, life changes here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is about being at a turning point in our life. The Five of Cups, we can also be feeling um, discouraged, hopeless. Hmm. What is the next step on your career path? You know, we could even be feeling a little bit depressed here. What is the next step on your career path? Four of Wands. Well, we've got stability here. Movement into stability. So there's a shift of energy happening. Clarity, a breakthrough. Okay. And the Eight of Pentacles. Right. So this is kind of going back into I can focus again. <laughs> okay. So I don't know what this is. This is a general reading, so, you know, you guys could be going through some many different life situations, but honestly, this looks like that's what it is, is there's something here that's affecting you in your personal life. It's kind of throwing you off a little bit, but there will be a breakthrough here with the Ace of Swords so you can refocus on work. This looks like something has impacted you. It might be due to love, okay? It might be a love situation for some of you. That's kind of you throwing you off a little bit. It's making your mind a little uh, scattered, okay? It could be family stuff too, but it could be your, your home, your home environment. Like if you live with roommates or you live with family and you're just not happy and the environment is like, oh my goodness, I want to get out of here. You know, you could be feeling kind of taken away with the feelings and emotions and thoughts surrounding that because the seven of swords can also talk about anxiety, um, insecurities, uh, trust issues, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. So yeah, to me, this, this looks like you're kind of, you're pulling it together because the king of cups is also a symbol of emotional balance stable emotions that's not stable okay so yeah this looks like something personal life that's affecting you and your work but we've got a breakthrough here with the ace of swords queen of swords energy she's pulled together okay <laughs> she's pulled together where she can focus she can uh clearly make decisions we cannot make decisions in this space here we cannot focus here Right? That's why this guy, he's got these swords all crazy, all kinds of ways. The swords represent our thoughts, our words, our communication, our action. So if we're not in a good headspace mentally, emotionally, it's going to affect us. Okay? So yeah, this honestly looks like you're, you're kind of pulling it together. And then we're back to work here. I don't know if maybe some of you, I don't know, something's, something happened here um, that has kind of thrown your focus off. But I'm seeing here, you're back to doing what you're doing, <laughs> okay? Uh, the Eight of Pentacles energy is about hard work. Uh, maybe it's school for some of you. Um, this is more focused energy. This is about uh, making decisions. Maybe there's some type of clarity. Maybe there's something you're worrying about, you know. Because the Five of Cups can also be about regrets. Regrets. Um, yeah, feeling discouraged, disappointed. But we're back to a, a balanced, harmonious energy here. The Four of Wands is stability. It's also about um, celebration, celebration so I don't know maybe some of you are hearing some good news here about work maybe this could be something good for you I'm seeing the ace of cups is at the bottom and so is the ten of pentacles page of wands so some of you might even be receiving some type of good news for a new opportunity even that might create more wealth more stability for you some of you might have some legal stuff going on here or even, I don't know, maybe some of you could potentially even be going through a divorce or something like that that's affecting or just, like I said, something's here that's kind of throwing you off a little bit. 
if you are going through a divorce, you know, it could be the seven of swords can also be about some type of theft or loss. So if you are kind of like, I don't know, if you're going through a divorce and a partner is somebody who's trying to steal or hide or take money and stuff like that, and that could be making you feel really depressed or sad. You know, we have justice here and it is in the upright. So justice is about things being in our favor. Um, some type of balance here as well. So, you know, this makes me feel like things are things are happening for you in a positive way. There's positive change here away from this energy it's like spirit's telling you, hang in there, hang in there. It's, it's going to get better. Things are going to improve for you. Um, many of you might even be receiving some type of opportunity that is very well deserved for you as well. Okay. Very well deserved. So try, you know, I don't know what this is, but try not to stress out so much. I feel like spirit is preparing to give you something that you're not expecting because the wheel of fortune is, like I said, it's about, uh, cycles of life. We all go through ups and downs through cycles of good cycles of not so good. And during those times when things are not going so good for us, we can get super stressed out and super worried and sad. Like how are things going to improve here? But this makes me feel like spirits bringing in blessings for you, positive change into your life to tell you everything's going to be okay. Whatever it is that you're going through right now is not going to last. It's going to improve. Just stay strong through this. Stay strong. There's going to be a breakthrough here. This could be receiving message news. Like I said, for some of you, good news. Okay. Maybe about a legal situation or you know, something that's happening in your decision that's being made in your favor um, is kind of what I'm getting here. And many of you, this could even be opening things up for you in terms of, I mean, this could even be an inheritance here. Um, opening things up for you in terms of um, receiving news or message about receiving even more money. Because, I mean, you do have the eight and ten of pentacles here, which are pretty financially secure or stable energies here as far as finances um and the ace of cups is about a new beginning so some of you might have a new offer here coming in for you and this could even be news about a good a new job okay or even elevating in terms of the job that you're at right now okay but i feel like with justice being here it's something that is well deserved for you Especially with everything that you may have gone through. Especially if you've gone through difficulty here. The Wheel of Fortune is kind of turning in your favor. Okay. To help you to bring in, um, improvements. But I feel like more or less this here. This breakthrough here. I feel like also gives you peace of mind. You know. That's what I'm getting here as well. Okay, let's see what else with the Oracle. What is the next step on your career path? We have love. What is the next step on your career path? Authentic. Yeah. For some of you, this could be changing or, or doing something that you love that is authentically you. Okay. Something that is more in alignment with you, you know, because the Wheel of Fortune is also about reaching a turning point in our life where it changes and having the confidence. Some of you could even be leaving something behind where you don't like the environment. It doesn't feel good or you're not happy there and you actually, you know, pursuing something or taking the opportunity to actually do something that you love we have clearing here strength yeah this makes me feel like obstacles are being cleared off of your path for you resistance where there was resistance here there's healing so there's blockages that are being removed for you um 
that have been preventing your growth. These things are being broken down. This stagnant energy here. You're coming into an energy of alignment. This is Spirit saying trust in divine timing. Okay. Spirit is trying to help you to align with something that is that you love. That's more authentically you. Clearing the way of stagnancy, blockages, healing, any type of resistance that may have been there. And, and that might even be healing within you, you know, that's taking place. Healing something within you that was creating a blockage here. Okay, especially with that Five of Cups being there. This is something that's, you know, and you might even be healing through uh, this process, growing and evolving through this process. Mm. Yeah, this is moving out of that stagnant energy into balance, into harmony again. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you. Pile number three, I do hope this is helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading.